afternoon everybody it's finally started to cool off it was another 40 degree day all right the missus and i are, are being out here a couple of hours trying to set up that mpp solar incorporated inverter uh, and 99 and 100 um, uh, 100 is charging source priority and 99 yes you can get it to switch um, the grid off but there's no timing setting to uh, in 100 or anything to switch the grid back on that's just charging source priority um, I was pretty disappointed in the MPP solar ink inverter uh, it is performing well I'll, I'll just show you this real quickly currently it's in pass through mode okay now the first thing is the sun's just gone down uh, these are lithium batteries they're all full by the way well it might not be now it might be 99 percent there we go 90 percent okay that's what they're at we'll make that bigger for you there you go okay and you can see so currently we're running off this inverter okay you can see that there we're in invert mode so what I'm going to do now the missus is just down there lighting a mosquito coil is I'm going to turn this switch on here which will because I've got this one acting as a grid okay so we turn this switch on you'll hear the switch click and then you'll hear the inverter click when it starts give it a minute there you go alright that's a one millisecond change over time it, it flicks the lights uh, so now you can see we've got different readings there all right and now we're just using that as a pass-through um, after playing with this thing for hours look it's really only good for and that's if you're allowed to do it and I believe you are as a backup it's not a grid tie replacement at all uh, and nor should it be used as such um, if you want to use it as an ups I'm pretty sure you can do that you just have to check the regulations in your state okay uh, an off-grid inverter look these things are in my house for years and years and years and years okay um, to me yeah they've made it 5.6 kilowatts and they've put 120 amp MPPT in it I believe um, the fans run all the time non-stop uh, over here all right I mean this is providing the power okay this is doing nothing it's just a pass-through and the fans are on I'm holding the camera there so you can hear it with the microphone Um, I, I am disappointed all right uh, one thousand four hundred dollars plus three hundred shipping from Taiwan now we've got on order another five kilowatt dia which that's an eight kilowatt one we've ordered a five kilowatt one now the five kilowatt dia for just a little bit more money okay a little bit more money okay has got two AC inputs one for the grid one for a generator and they all switch automatically so if your battery gets flat and the grid is still not up it will automatically charge a generator and charge the batteries and run your house while it's charging the battery if the grid comes back up the generator will switch off okay and it'll run from the grid as a grid tie it's a true 
drop in replacement and the beauty of it is you don't have to put them both in together okay yeah I'm a bit disappointed what I am happy about is that at nine o'clock this morning well, well before nine o'clock my electrician rang and said Chris it's gonna be hot today it's gonna be hot on Sunday I'll be there at nine and nine o'clock he was here he wired it the way I wanted it wired because we're going to put the another unit in here we'll probably end up putting the um, deer down here or we might move this over I don't know I don't know what we're going to do yet but the, the, the thing is I, I am really disappointed I would have thought after all these years they would have really made some serious changes in the programming they're still a bugger to program um, they do invert power really nice really smooth um, and the one millisecond delay you look you don't even notice it doesn't, inter doesn't interfere your computers you will notice it on your LED lights uh, but that's about it hey everybody all right so this is really really interesting this is yesterday or Saturday uh, when we had 40 degrees C it was meant to be 40 degrees C today but it's extremely cloudy and I had my electrician here. I'll show you today's logs in a minute. But I just wanted to show you. It's okay. Now remember, I have solar on in that second inverter, so that's not counted here. Okay, so let's just show you how the day went all day. You can see we've turned the, the big, big air conditioner, and it is a big air conditioner. You can see there during its... The, we haven't actually caught it turn on and turn off I think but just it's running is around is over three kilowatt hours when it's running that's its power use okay all right and this is a little inverter and this one is a hot water system and that's the electric kettle and it was a that was an overcast day like it is today uh, we meant that it's meant to be uh, 40 later on this afternoon and it's meant to get up to 40 again on Monday so but let's just scroll down here and have a look here consumption 25.4 kilowatt hours solar 17 kilowatt hours although it is higher than that uh, because I shifted some solar over to that other one so hopefully I can get some I don't know what sort of logs I'm going to get out of that I'm not expecting much it's a um, low end inverter uh, although you know they did run my house for years but they're very low end um, you get what you pay for they're bang for buck and, and that's about it with the MPP solar ink I mean they're good they're reliable I found them very reliable if you wire them right uh, don't skip on your wire sizing and they're great alright and this is so far today so let, let's go back up here and just have a look at today's logs and this is also a bit weird now uh, the electrician turned up about 9 okay and uh, we well just just before 9 about 9 I'll just say and uh, we ginned around a bit uh, worked out uh, the plan of attack and then turned everything off so here you see where it dips down there okay uh, oh, where are we dips down there to 18 watts this actually should be zero from here to here because we turned the solar off we turned the inverter off we we had absolutely no power at all here um, why he was carrying out work okay on the on the uh, system because I don't want a crispy crunchy electrician no thank you very much and I've certainly he didn't want to be crispy crunchy as well so this is uh, I don't know why that it's given this sort of uh, log it's just sort of skipped over to where it, we've turned it back on again um, I don't know whether it's too smart and it's trying to fill in what it thinks happened or I don't know what's going on there but you can see it in the log plainly you can see it here you know consumption my consumption's way down okay way down 
It's now past one o'clock. Uh, what's the time down the bottom here? Uh, it's 1.04. And you can see our consumption is from, from normal days. It's, yeah. Considering it's another really hot day, and again, we have air conditioners on, although we don't have the big, big one on because it's currently only 35 degrees Celsius outside, which is quite nice. Okay, that's it. Keep safe, everyone. Bye for now.